students in this session we will discuss about receiver sensitivity and quantum limit of detection first we will go to receiver sensitivity receiver sensitivity gives a measure of minimum average power or it gives a minimum average power or optical modulation amplitude which is needed to maintain a maximum bit error rate at a specific data rate ber is the bit error rate so receiver sensitivity gives a measure of the minimum average power or optical modulation amplitude needed to maintain a maximum bit error rate at a specific data rate and figure a figure is shown in shown here and in that figure this represents a top curve top curve represents the noise free output from a hypothetical detector and where id is marked as a threshold value of the threshold value which is used for take, used for taking a comparison and which represents the threshold value and the noise free curve represents the that is the second curve that is a, sorry that is, that one is the first curve that is the original signal itself and the, which is a stream of ones and zeros and the noise free top curve represents the perfect recovery of the transmitted signal and uh, the middle curve represents the noise corrupted received signal so um, it is shown that uh, there is some variation in the um, uh, signal so it represents the presence of noise and the bottom curve gives the comparator output with output bits with error um, see uh, uh, the corrupted signal uh, when received the noise corrupted signal when received then it will be um, given to the input of a comparator and that comparator makes a comparison and produces output so uh, uh, bottom curve represents the comparator output you can see that uh, the sending signal is this one 101010 one, one, but when it is corrupted by the noise a zero in this portion changed to one so uh, this is the output of the comparator so the output in the output of the comparator there is an error is produced so this represents the error signal and here the Gaussian if we are taking the Gaussian distribution of the uh, error and if the Gaussian distribution gives the output current of the detector you know that in the receiver side there will be detector and uh, noise will be affected uh, affecting the detector part so the output current will be um, the output current of the detector is given by P of i n d i n which is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma into e raised to i n square divided by 2 sigma square into d i n where p i n d i n is the probability of the output noise current and that is between the values i n and i n plus d i n where i n represents the noise current and the sigma is the variance value and that means uh, sigma indirectly represents the measure of the width of the probability distribution when we are drawing this probability distribution then sigma gives the width of the probability distribution that, that is actually representing the variance and the mean square noise current is equal to the square of the standard deviation sigma square so uh, the standard deviation or variance sigma square will be given by the mean square value of the current the noise current that is sigma square is equal to i n square so the total total probability we can calculate the total probability of making an error when a bit is received uh, is given by p e p e that is probability of error is equal to p of 0 1 into p 1 plus p of 1 bar 0 into p 0 where p of 0 1 um, is the probability of uh, deciding the output is 0 when logical 1 is sent so that means there will be an error occurring and p of 1 is the probability of um, receiving error Pro, so p of 1 is the probability of receiving 1 and similarly p of 1 bar 0 here the p of 1 bar 0 is the probability of deciding the output is 1 when 0 is sent and p of 0 represents the probability probability of receiving 0 and here when we are substituting instead of p of 1 as a and p of 0 as b then the probability of error p is given by here we can instead of instead of p1 and p0 we can substitute a, a b and a and also uh, we can write the p of error as a, a into p of i n less than minus of 1 minus k into i of 1 bar plus b into p i n greater than k of i of 1 bar 1 bar this is um, based on the Gaussian distribution um, and p is the probability of event occurring at k um, and which is a fraction which is less than 1 
and b r values of p of 1 and p of 0 itself and also we can write the value of probability of 0 when 1 is probability of receiving 0 when 1 is sent is given by the equation p of 0 bar 1 equal to 1 by sigma 1 into square root to 2 pi into integral minus infinity to id where id is the threshold value e raised to i minus i of 1 bar square divided by 2 sigma 1 square into di where i of uh, 1 is the i of 1 1 bar square is the mean square value of uh, noise when one uh, noise uh, noise uh, and similarly i of 1 similarly uh, sigma 1 is the variance of 1 and the, the complementary error function is given uh, given by the equation ERFC of x is equal to 2 by root pi into integral s to infinity e raised to minus y square into dy. In the error uh, p of 1 bar 0 is the area under the tail of the lower distribution um, above the threshold value id. Similarly, we can write the equation for p of 1 bar 0 as 1 by sigma 0 into square root of 2 pi into integral id to infinity e raised to minus of id minus i of 0 square divided by 2 sigma 0 square into di which can be written as 1 by 2 into e, e error function erfc of id minus i of 0 bar divided by sigma 0 into um, square root uh, to here id is the threshold value and i of 0 bar is the um, mean value mean square value um, of uh, error signal that is mean square value of the um, error uh, error uh, for receiving the signal zero hence the probability of the error uh, error that is also the bit error rate is given by probability of error pe equal to bit error rate which will be obtained by the sum of these two quantities see, probability of error is given see probability of error is given by this equation here and here instead of these terms we can substitute the equations see, this and uh, this uh, suppose p of 1 is having a probability 1 by 2 and p of 0 having a probability 1 by 2 and we can substitute the values of each and every term so we will get probability of error is equal to 1 by 4 into erfc of i of 1 minus id divided by sigma 1 into root 2 plus erfc of id minus i of 1 divided by sigma 0 into root 2 here id is the threshold value i1 represents the uh, noise noise current and no noise current respectively and sigma 1 and sigma 0 are the variance corresponding to 0 and 1 and next we can in order to find the value of id that is in order to find the threshold value we can equate these terms that is i of 1 bar minus id divided by sigma 1 is equal to id minus i of 0 bar divided by sigma 0 this, um, this, this relationship is used to find the um, value of id and by rearranging this equation we will get the value of id as id is equal to sigma 0 i of 1 plus sigma 1 into i of 0 divided by sigma 0 plus sigma 1 in general sigma, we are assuming that sigma 1 is greater than 0 because due to the larger value of this signal dependent short noise for a 1 1 is greater than 0 see uh, due to the effect of the error it is uh, the, there is a greater probability of um, changing the 0 to 1 that is why we are taking sigma 1 greater than sigma 0 and uh, similarly we can represent the error probability in terms of the q factor for that we are taking the um, we are uh, defining the q parameter as q will be equal to i of 1 bar minus i of d divided by sigma 1 that is equal to similarly we can uh, write it in terms of the mean value of um, probability of 0 Mm, that is i of d minus i of 0 bar divided by sigma 0 and we can write the bit error rate in terms of the q factor as b r equal to 1 by 2 erfc of q by root 2 this is an important equation and when q greater than 0 bit error rate can be written as 1 by 2 into erfc of q divided by root 2 that can be approximately written as e raised to q square divided by 2 divided by q root 2 pi where q greater than 3 and in this case we can uh, draw a curve between bit error rate and q factor and that curve is given below when bit error rate is plotted against the q factor we will get a curve like this actually bit error rate uh, gives a measure of the sensitivity of the um, system next we will go to the topic quantum limit actually quantum limit represents the minimum received optical power required for a specific bit error rate performance in a digital system so uh, this quantum limit represents the minimum received optical power itself we have to calculate this minimum received optical power 
for that we are taking the equation of beta rate beta rate can be written in terms of signal to noise ratio as 1 by 2 into erfc of square root signal to noise ratio s by n divided by 2 root 2 this is the relationship between signal to noise ratio and beta rate and here by definition we can write that signal to noise ratio is obtained by this equation that is i of 1 bar divided by square root i n square and here i n square represents the mean square value of the current and i of 1 bar represents the mean current when 1 is received this represents the mean current when 1 is received and square root i n square represents the rms value of the current so this is the signal to noise ratio we can substitute this value for getting the bitter rate in this equation and also we have the minimum RMS value of the current is obtained by the equation IS minimum is equal to square root to signal to noise ratio minimum into square root to IN square and here signal current we can write the signal current um, as the product of responsivity and the power optical power so we want to find out the minimum threshold power P and so we can rearrange this equation so P will be equal to IS by R for getting the minimum power we are um, taking the minimum um, rms value of the current so we will get p minimum is equal to square root um, signal to noise ratio minimum into square root i n square divided by r where this is the rms value of the current this is the minimum signal to noise ratio value so that's all about this topic thank you